It's Sunday evening. I am in Sarajevo, Bosnia. I'm walking down the hill into the city center in Sarajevo to get some chababi. I'm starving at the moment. It's Ramadan and I'm not Muslim, but I kind of feel like I'm observing Ramadan because it's close to sundown and I haven't eaten anything today. It has been a long day and it has been a long week, but it has been an exciting day and an exciting week. I say that as I hit a fork in the road and I'm probably gonna get myself lost. Um, should I go right or should I go left? I guess I'm going right in the middle and I'm gonna risk getting hit in both directions. That's a saying, you walk in the middle of the street and you risk getting hit from both directions. I just survived that. I guess if you walk in the middle of the street while filming a vlog, while there are cars coming in both directions, you really risk getting hit in both directions. Nonetheless, I survived that little fork, and regardless, as long as I'm going down the hill, I'm gonna end up somewhere in the vicinity of the city center, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. This week, which has been entirely focused on the Western Balkans, the EU, and Turkey, uh, actually reminds me a lot of a week I spent last year in Ukraine. It was the week in which I was chasing around Mikhail Saakashvili, a famous former Georgian president who's now a stateless man again now that Ukraine gave him the boot. Well, uh, maybe you've seen that vlog that I shot in Lviv at the end of that week, and that's kind of how I feel right now, although I didn't get bed bug bites this week, and I'm not walking around in a downpour right now. It's pretty nice weather, actually. But, yeah, so this Western Balkan summit was in Sofia, Bulgaria, and that was the big event this week, but then I, at the end on Friday, I just rushed out, took a bus up to Serbia, stopped in Niche, went to Belgrade, hopped off the bus in Belgrade, went to the ticket counter, and at the ticket counter they told me that the last bus for Sarajevo is leaving in 10 minutes, so without getting work finished, I did manage to take a piss and get some cash out of the ATM to buy the ticket. Uh, I didn't brush my teeth or eat dinner or any of that, just hopped on that bus and I arrived in Sarajevo yesterday morning and I was hoping that would give me enough time to get accredited for the Recep Tayyip Erdogan rally today in Sarajevo, which ended up being the second very big event of the week for me. And that kind of reminded me of chasing around Saakashvili because I did not manage to get accredited for the Erdogan event. Tried various back channels yesterday and it didn't work. I did not receive a response to my application email I sent to the Union of European Turkish Democrats who you're supposed to apply to. But then when I arrived at the event today, found out that maybe that wouldn't even matter because the organizers told me it was the Turkish embassy that was approving the accreditation for journalists at the Erdogan rally today. Interesting, especially considering that it wasn't formally a Turkish government event, but rather an event put on by this Union of European Turkish Democrats, who in the Western press basically get accused of being one with the Turkish government, or in a sense, foot soldiers for Erdogan in Europe. I'm not going to comment any more on that. But, so, I did actually manage to get in. Um, I kind of snuck in, kind of just worked my way in, I don't even know how to explain it, I went up to a couple of the organizers who were around the press table, 
and I pleaded and pleaded to get a press pass or some press, I mean, if not accreditation, just let me in. I mean, I was carrying one of my press cards, had it around my neck. But that wasn't enough for them, but after I pleaded and pleaded, one of them told me, oh, just go through the security and then try to talk to someone or just try to go in. And I managed to get through the security, and then I went to one person, talked to another, talked to another security guy, talked to another guy, talked to all these guys who were either organizers or securities, security people, and eventually I just walked in with the people who had their tickets, and I flashed my the press card that I was wearing around my neck and argued a little bit conceded that I wasn't going to be allowed to take my backpack in, so I grabbed the stuff out of my backpack and stuck it in my jacket, and I ended up getting in the Erdogan rally and getting photos and video footage, which I've already uploaded. I filmed a report in there. That's already done. It's already uploaded. And I guess at this point, maybe I can just... Relax a little bit and enjoy my Ramadan dinner. <laughs> I do have several people I'm trying to see either tonight or over the course of the next 24 hours, and I'm also considering going to some other city or place in the middle of nowhere to visit the refugees. There's randomly a refugee problem here in Bosnia. Uh, there's so much going on. I was planning on heading back to Belgrade tomorrow night. I still might do that. There's a lot on tab, but I think I'm going to take a few minutes to chill out a little bit. This has been a long day, a long week, but it's turned out to be quite a successful one. So, no complaints for me, especially when I have a chababi dinner or two waiting for me down the hill. And I am just about down the hill right now. And this is a good time to wrap up this vlog as I think I'm gonna in just a matter of seconds spin around and the famous big cathedral in the heart of Sarajevo is gonna be right behind me. So how about we count down to the cathedral? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There it is right there. All right, long day, long week, excited for dinner, ciao from Sarajevo.